Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will see how to fetch the data from the database in a table of format. So, before getting started, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe, do follow me on my Instagram page as well. So, let's get started. In previous video, we have done how to insert data into a database. If you have not yet watched that video, I will give you the link in the description. Do watch it so that you will know what is happening in this video. So here is an insert.php. We have previously seen this. And in code.php, I have done a video on how to display this session message as well. I will give that link in the description. So, let's get started with the fetching part. So, we will be fetching the data here itself in the index.php page. So let's change this heading to fetch data from the database. So let's go to index.php. Let's close this. Close this code.php. Fetch data from the database in PHP. So you can see it has changed to fetch data from database. Now we have to first design the form. Here we have card header. Let's give card body. Inside card body, we have to design our table. We'll just type the table. So if you are not comfortable with typing, you can go to get bootstrap and type table here. So you'll get the design for it. For now, let's type the table. Let's go back. You can copy this and design accordingly. Let's create a table. So inside this table, Give class as table, table, ordered. So table will have two things that is table header. So T head. So inside T head, we will have TR and the table header. So table header, we are going to display ID. Let's copy paste name, email, and phone number. So these are the things, these are the table headers. So after table header, we'll have T body, table body, inside table body, we'll have the TR and table data. So this is a basic table structure. Let's go reload and check. So you can see ID, name, email, phone number. Now we have to get the data from here. Let's go reload this. You can see there are six data. So we are going to fetch these data here so how will you do that so here inside table body we are going to look we are not going to look directly from here if you loop that even this will get looped open and close php why we are opening and closing is this is an html tag inside that html we want the php code so that is why we are opening and closing first thing we have to do is we have to give the connection so in code.php you can see we have done the connection here so let's copy this connection and go to index.php and paste it. So now our connection will be set. Once after this connection, we have to give the query, right? We are going to fetch data from the database. So we will write it as, we will give the variable name as fetch query is equal to select star from users. Select star from users, we are selecting all the data which is there in users table. Then create another variable fetch query run is equal to using MySQLI query function connect your database as well as fetch query variable. Give a semicolon. So once after this we are going to use MySQLI num rows to check if there is data present. So if there is data present, give us all the data, else no record found. So if there is data present, so we'll use if condition if MySQLI num rows of this fetch query run variable is greater than zero, then is greater than zero means there is data inside that particular table. If there is data, we are going to loop it and get it. If there is no data, we'll just tell echo no data found. Instead of giving an echo, we'll just close and open PHP and display here also in a table of format. Give a TR and inside TD, 
give a call span of 4 and give no data or no record found. Now this is set. So once if there is data, we are going to loop, right? So we'll write the for each loop there for each fetch query run. Copy this, paste it here as row. This is your variable name. You can give anything. So again, we have to display here the HTML tag. So again, close and open PHP and cut this TR. Paste it here. Let's copy format document so you can see it will be aligned in a proper way. So here what you have to do is open close PHP again and tell echo dollar row of ID. Let's go reload and check if the ID is getting displayed. Let's go back reload. You can see all the six ID is getting printed. Let's go fetch the three more columns. Copy paste 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 give name, email and phone. Go reload once again. You can see all the data which is in your database. You have fetched it here. In next video, we will see how to edit this particular data. I hope this video was helpful. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.